Greetings, brothers and sisters, and welcome to today's devotion and the beginning of a new week of devotions. Uh, today we have Psalm 124. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when our enemies attacked us, then they would have swallowed us up alive when their anger was kindled against us. Then the flood would have swept us away, the torrent would have gone over us, then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So this psalm, or song of ascent, is speaking of God's deliverance um, of the people of Israel. And it seems as though there's a reference made to, certainly to uh, the Exodus and the waters, the flood would have swept them away. The torrent would have gone over us and over us would have gone the raging waters, verse four and five. That may be metaphorical, may be metaphorical with uh, allusions to uh, the Exodus, but it is a celebration of uh, the people of Israel or an individual uh, reciting this to the people of Israel to celebrate that God has been on their side. Uh, God has defended them. God has gone out uh, in battle with them, helped conquer their enemies, and uh, sustain them through thick and thin, through whatever that it is that the people of Israel have faced. Uh, there's a real tangible reality to this for those people of Israel. If you know the history of the people, if you know the history of the conquest of Canaan and Prior to that, as I mentioned, uh, the story of the Exodus and, and even stories beyond that, um, there was a real reality that, you know, the people of that time, of ancient times, were literally attacking uh, and, and um, uh, warring against the people of Israel. And God was on their side directing them and helping them and defending them so that they were not destroyed, so that they were not like the... Uh, psalmist writes they weren't given up to the prey as prey to their teeth they were not devoured so uh, as the people are uh, heading towards jerusalem or ascending up the steps towards the temple in jerusalem this is a psalm or a song of celebration of those things that god has done for them so uh, a different kind of reality for us though and we we certainly don't have um, nations or groups or individuals that are persecuting us or attacking us or uh, that have um gone to war with us, uh, certainly not on our soil or anything like that in, in our history, in the history of this country. So we don't have that tangible reality of God rescuing us from those things. But is God on our side? Is God still on our side? And is God, uh, quote unquote, fighting uh, our battles for us? And yes and no, God is definitely on our side. Um, we would know if uh, God was opposed to us, and that would be a very terrifying experience. But as God fighting our battles, like he has fought the battles against the enemies of the people of Israel, yes and no. Again, some of the battles that God has fought for us, certainly the battle against sin, uh, is one that we could not fight ourselves. And in that regard, God has fought that battle for us. But does God fight the everyday battles for us, the battles that we face in our regular daily lives, conflicts and challenges and financial struggles and things like that. In some ways, yes, God does, but uh, that's really too egocentric for us to think that God's working out a plan that is strictly beneficial for us. Uh, God's working out a plan for redemption and reconciliation for all of creation. Back to God through Jesus Christ, because God has concerned for the greater um, uh, numbers of humanity, not just us individually, and though we sometimes feel that way because of the personal relationship we have with God, which is amazing. But it's not how, really, I see how it works. Uh, but imagine if God was not on our side, or imagine if God was not present with us, if we were, if God was absent from us. What would like life be like for us? Uh, we would still face the trials and tribulations of this world, but there would be a incredible sense of hopelessness um, 
that I think would be overwhelming for any of us uh, who are believers to not have that hope that we have in God or have in Christ uh, to fight alongside of us, or at least to um, be with us, be present with us in the midst of those battles, to comfort us by his presence as we face trials and tribulations in this world. But just in the everyday life of um, if there was an absence of God for us or in our lives, what would that be like? I can't imagine. Uh, I give thanks every day for God, for his presence in my life. Uh, it is constant, even though I am not constantly aware of it. Um, that sense of hopelessness would be like a torrent or a flood or uh, raging waters coming over our head, just overwhelming, uh, overwhelming hopelessness and despair that would be what life would be like without having God. We have God in our lives. We have God present with us, um, not to be sort of the genie in the bottle for us uh, to do as we command, uh, but to be present with us and bring the things that come with his presence into our lives to celebrate the good things, to uh, face challenges that we face in this life with his help and with the strength that we draw from our faith. That is reason uh, for us to celebrate. That is reason for us to ascend our prayers and our thanks up to God for his presence in our lives because the absence of God, uh, like I said, I can't imagine what that would be like uh, other than just the deep, deep feeling of hopelessness, um, which would be horrible. <laughs> That's uh, the devotion for today. Um, tomorrow we will have another Song of Ascent, Psalm 125. Uh, until then, be well.